could it be? Um... I'm sorry. What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one bullet, so there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? Please, stop! This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um... Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? <laughs> you say we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? He said this to us earlier.
That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. I see! Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. The last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... It was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. He factored in his belief in us. But for some reason, he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? You know... He wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean... he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who... is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? I see! 
see. That's it? The traitor? Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then... What he said in his video message... Probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. But if he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Me, it looks like you've got something you want to say, but you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you gonna do? Are you guys gonna believe me? The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If... By chance, the traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare. What would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it. Because they weren't created to do that. Ch Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the Future Foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. It's... you? Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please! Hold on! Ah, uh, you totally guessed right! 